What's up guys, my name is Brandon and Apple just released iOS 16 beta 6 to registered developers exactly one week after the previous beta. And this one should be out for public beta testers very soon. So in addition to this iOS release, Apple also released iPadOS 16 beta 6, watchOS 9 beta 6, tvOS 16 beta 6, and HomePodOS 16 beta 6. But of course, this video is all about iOS and iPadOS. So let's go ahead and take a look at the size before we get into what's new. So you can see it came in at 426.5 megabytes on my iPhone 13 Pro Max, which is I'm pretty sure the smallest update yet in iOS 16, the beta cycle, which is not too surprising as we go on, that size does generally get a little bit smaller. So 426 megabytes, if we go ahead and check out the build number for this update, settings general about, we could see the build number here is 20A5349B. So we do have a B at the end of the build number, which does indicate we're getting pretty close to that final release, which of course does come out next month we'll talk more about that at the end of this video and if we go down to the modem firmware you can see that remains at 2.09.01 so no change in the modem firmware all right so now what's new here in beta 6 and as you guys know the previous update brought the long-awaited battery percentage in the status bar that is a feature we've been waiting on really since 2017 when the iphone 10 came out so we finally got that new feature and if we go into our settings battery you will see that we have that new toggle up top for battery percentage. Now, this has not been added for any more devices, you know, than what we're compatible with in the previous beta. So if you were expecting to see this, you know, added to the iPhone 11 and other devices that didn't get this, that is not the case. It is not compatible with more devices after this beta. So keep that in mind. Now there is also one minor change to this. So before in beta five, when this first got introduced, if you turned on low power mode, it would automatically turn on the battery percentage. You could see it would gray it out and it would automatically turn on the battery percentage with no way to turn that off. Well, now in beta six, that is no longer the case. So now if we turn on low power mode, you could see it does nothing to the battery percentage in the status bar. And it also does not gray out the battery percentage toggle right there. So we could turn both on at the same time, but you now get the option to turn off battery percentage if you want to, and it's not just on by default. Now, if we head back to our settings and go to the wallpaper section right here and we tap on customize, you will notice that now in beta six, we bypass this really pointless pop up right here. So before it would give us the option to either customize current wallpaper or add new wallpaper, which was very redundant because add new wallpaper is right here. So it really made no sense to have that pop up. It was just basically slowing down the process of changing your wallpaper. So now Apple has fixed that and it goes straight into customizing your current wallpaper. Now, if we head over to our lock screen right here, and if you have music playing on the lock screen, you guys know, of course, you could tap on the album artwork right there, and it will make it bigger as your song is playing. It's really cool. You have the animated album artwork in the background as well. Well, now when you change that, you could see it's a little bit smoother than it was previously. So for some reason, we still have our music platter. It kind of just like moves a little bit like that. So it is still a little bit janky, but it does seem smoother than it was in beta five. And speaking of music, you're now able to fast forward or rewind by holding on these forward or back buttons. So it's not working right now. And it seems to just be working on and off. Some people aren't seeing this at all, but I saw this on beta five and I was also able to reproduce this on beta six when I first installed it, but it looks like it's not working right now. So that seems to be a feature that's hit or miss. I'm not sure if that's intentional or not. It could be a bug, but try it out on your device and see if you're able to hold down on that. Or if you go into the music platter right here and then hold right here, see if you're able to skip forward 10 seconds or back. 10 seconds. We also have a couple of other small changes on the lock screen. So if you go to customize one of your photo lock screens and you tap on the photos icon in the bottom left and now defaults to all instead of featured. So you can see right here defaulted to featured instead of all. I have to change it to all to go over to all of my photos. And also up top, you will notice that there is now some padding up top from the top of that window. So this is very hard to see unless you're looking for the details because see on beta five, it was just kind of attached to the top of the window. And now there's a little bit of padding there, maybe a few pixels, but that's pretty much everything going on here with beta six. And as expected, it's not going to be a major 
update. I mean, beta five was pretty major. We did get the battery percentage. We also got when we take a screenshot right here and we go to done, we have the copy and delete that was new in at beta five. So beta six really is just refining a lot of things that were introduced before. And we are also now on a weekly release schedule. So you're going to see a big slowdown in terms of actual like big features and changes. We're mostly going to see bug fixes from here on out. So that's kind of expected for a sixth beta here. Now we do have some things added to the release notes here for beta six. There's not a ton, but there are a few in here. So you can see this one right here says fixed devices running beta four or later are not backwards compatible with devices running earlier beta versions. So that has been addressed here in beta six. And then we also have some known issues here in beta six. So you can see this one for mail. It says a known issue is moving a remind me message to another mailbox it does not remove the remind me banner. And then a small one for iCloud that says after purchasing a new domain and creating a custom email address, you might be offered to purchase the domain again. And there is a workaround to tap not now if offered to purchase again, obviously. So just minor things here that have been addressed and also kind of introduced here with beta six, but nothing major. And then as far as bugs go, I was not able to reproduce this bug right here, which happened a lot on beta five, where it would show the now playing platter on the lock screen twice, just back to back like this. And it would say media remote UI. So I've not seen that so far in beta six, I was not able to reproduce that. So that could very well be fixed. But if you guys had that in beta five, try to reproduce it yourself here in beta six and tell me in the comments below if it has in fact been fixed or not. And then I did also have issues with Apple Music just randomly pausing and randomly stopping. So, and it had nothing to do with my Wi Fi connection or my LTE signal. So that could be addressed in this update as well. But we'll have to wait and see. Of course, I will let you guys know in my next Apple Weekly episode on Saturday. Now, as far as the performance goes, performance feels about the same as beta five to me so far. I've had no app crashes. I've had nothing crash in the background. I've really had no issues with my lock screen or anything like that. Now I am still having issues like moving these widgets right here. So sometimes it's really hard. As you can see, I can't really move the widgets like I would like to. So that's not really a performance thing. That's more of just like a bug an issue in iOS 16 right now, but performance so far feels pretty good to me. So if we take a look at the Geekbench score here, you can see I got a 1737 on the single core and a 4734 on the multi core. So you can see comparing that to beta five, it's very similar. So slightly higher on the single core, slightly lower on the multi core. So pretty interesting to see the results here over the previous betas. And then when it comes to the battery life, battery life also feels about the same as the previous build so far. But of course, it is way too early to tell my battery life has dropped. What was it like one or 2% since starting this video. So seems about in line with what it was on the previous build. Of course, I did run that Geekbench test. So it could, you know, push that battery a little bit lower than it would have otherwise. But still, I will let you guys know on Saturday in my Apple weekly episode, how battery life has been throughout out this week. All right, so now let's talk about what to expect next from Apple. And like I said last week, we are now on a weekly release schedule, which means that we should see beta seven next week on the 22nd or the 23rd. So it seems like Apple likes these Monday releases right now. So we should see it right there on the 22nd. Like I said, though, if not either the 23rd or the 24th, nonetheless, we should see it next week. So beta seven next week, public beta, as far as for this build goes, it could be out as you're watching this video. If not, then tomorrow on the 16th at the very latest, and that should be the normal. Now we should see that public beta within 24 hours of the developer beta getting released. And then as far as the final release goes for iOS 16, that is going to be coming out in September, most likely the week of September 12th or September 19th. We don't know for sure yet. Apple has not officially announced it yet, but it does usually come come in mid September. So I would expect that again this year. And then of course, if you're still on iOS 15, we could be seeing a 15.7 or a 15.6.1 sometime in the next few weeks. But of course, nothing is confirmed yet. Apple has not come out and said they're going to be releasing that. That is just a guess as you know, we're still about a month away from the next public release as far as iOS 16 goes. So I would expect a 15.7 or a 15.6.1 before iOS 16 gets released. So there you have it, guys. That is iOS 16 beta six, a pretty small update, really a bug fix oriented update, which is probably going to be the norm now from now until iOS 16 gets released. That's usually what Apple does. Beta is one through five. We get a lot of big features. And then after beta five, on a beta six and you know anything in the future, we usually see just a lot of bug fixes leading up to the final 
release. So I would expect that from here on out. Nonetheless, I hope you guys did enjoy this video as always. If you did, I would appreciate if you gave it a thumbs up. Also, make sure to subscribe for a lot more iOS 16 coverage. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon. Thank you.